In this demo, we'll go over the how-to as well as some best practices for our topic moderation tools. We'll cover title changing, topic type changing, setting the status on topics, team sharing, archiving, redirecting, merging, removing, and moving, as well as the change log. Get Satisfaction's topic moderation tools are an essential part of community curation. With these moderation tools, you can edit topic titles to make them more helpful and findable, archive out-of-date content, merge similar topics, and a whole lot more. So let's get started. Here I'm in the community for Cyberdyne Systems, a fake company that manufactures and sells exercise equipment. I'm a moderator in this community, currently represented by my employee badge and official rep designation. When I come to my community, I start here at the highlights page, but I'm going to switch over to the recent activity view so we can see some of the most recent topics and replies. Okay. Here's a topic, how does it work? Not a particularly useful title. How does what work? Let's see what this topic is actually referring to. We see here that this user is actually asking about the strength system. I'll plan to answer this topic, but before I do, I'll change the title so that others who have a question about this product can more easily find it. The user will not receive a notification that you've edited it, and the link to this topic from their user dashboard will still work. Also, you'll notice this topic was posted as a problem, but it's actually a question that just needs to be answered, not a problem that needs to be solved. I'm going to change the topic type to question. Again, no notification is sent. And after I answer it, I can set the topic status to answered and I can even mark my reply as the answer from the company. Once there are multiple replies to this topic, any reply I've marked this way will pop up to the top of the page. Let's go back to our community homepage. Here's another use case for editing a title and changing the topic type. The all caps and multiple exclamation points may not be setting the tone you want in your community. Also, this is a problem that really can be turned into an idea so that you can track it for potential product development. So let's change the title and then change the topic type. Then we can set the status to let the user know we're considering it if we are. You can then use the team sharing tool to share this topic with the appropriate members of your team. In this case, I want to share this with some folks on our product management team. I can also elect to follow the topic without actually replying to it. This way, I'll be notified when members of my team come in and answer. Now let's say we've already got a topic about this idea, and it already has an official response from the company, so it's our canonical topic about stair steppers. I can use the merge tool to combine these topics. I can either copy and paste the exact URL, or I can search for it. Also, once I've got some common canonical topics built up, they'll start to appear in a suggested list here under the tool. When I'm merging, I can elect whether or not I want this topic to appear as a reply in the canonical topic. Merging will send a notification to the original author with a link to the topic they can follow to keep up on the issue. And you can opt to customize the message that gets sent to them about why you're merging their topic. This explanation will also be posted in the publicly viewable change log, which we'll cover in a little bit. Keep in mind that merging cannot be undone. You can also add a redirect to a topic. This is great when you want to point customers to resources about a similar issue in your Get Satisfaction community, or even to external resources. For instance, maybe a blog post. I can copy and paste the exact URL and opt to leave a custom message about why I'm pointing them to this resource. I can also archive a topic, which is useful for content that is out of date or irrelevant or that you just don't want to draw attention to. Archiving does not send a notification to the original author, but it does remove it from search. It removes the possibility of it ever appearing in the highlights view of my community homepage, and it keeps it from bumping up to the top of the topic stream in my recent activity view. Sometimes archiving isn't enough, though. Sometimes you need to remove a topic. Here's a good example of a topic that needs to be removed. When I remove it, I select a reason. In this case, spam. 
I can also leave an explanation for why I'm removing it. The original topic poster will receive a notification that their topic was removed with your reason. Use Remove with care. It's great when you've got spam to clear out, someone hawking their wares in your community, or a privacy concern, like this topic here, where a customer has left their phone number, email address, and a private coupon code. So I'm going to edit the title first to remove their phone number. Then I'm going to select Privacy Concern as my reason for removal. This action will be tracked in the change log, but because I've selected Privacy Concern, no one will be able to click through to see the removed content. You can also remove when someone is posting with a really abusive tone or offensive language. In that case, use it as an opportunity to educate. You can remind your customers about the community guidelines, our company customer pact, and that Get Satisfaction is about productive conversations. However, if someone is just being angry and critical, we find that it's best to actually respond to them as authentically and non-defensively as possible. Use it as an opportunity to surprise and delight. And remember that removing their content may only exacerbate the situation. We found that an honest, non-defensive answer can do wonders to turn the tide. You can also remove replies. Here's a reply that's just inappropriate. And remember that you can always restore removed content should you change your mind about the action you took. All of these actions will be posted in the change log. The change log is a public record for the changes that were made in your community. So remember that every moderation action you take will be tracked here, along with any reason you gave for your change. Your customers will have an opportunity to let you know what they think about your decisions. This way, even though you've got the control to keep your community organized and optimized for usefulness, you're able to preserve the promise of transparency and authenticity, which helps to breed trust in the relationship between you and your customers. Finally, if you find a stray topic in your community that isn't necessarily spam or inappropriate, but it obviously doesn't belong to your community, you can move it to its proper home. Just search for the company, find your selection, and move it. Moving cannot be undone. And that's the basics of how our moderation tools work. There are many different use cases for these various tools, but hopefully this demo has given you a basic understanding of how they work as well as some best practices for making the most of them.